Hello and welcome to Painting with Maybe Crafter. Today I'm going to show you myself painting a TV tray that I bought at Target. I found these really nice trays that were heavy and pretty and they were nice wood and perfect for painting. First I gessoed the tray. Give it a nice good layer so that the paint will stick better and so that that dark wood finish won't be as hard to cover up when I go for the colors. Basically one of my family's favorite things to do is to watch TV and snack in the bed and having these little trays helps us not make as much of a mess and I just thought it would be fun to personalize them for each family member so we know which tray is ours. For this step, I decided to do the white paint and the blue paint together and then swirl it so that the texture looked really swirly and like a blue sky with clouds and everything because when you swirl it like that it gives it more texture and just more depth. This particular tray, I am making it for my daughter, so I wanted to make it a very happy color and a very happy scene. So I went with this really pretty blue to give it the closest to a blue sky as you could get. And there's my sketch of what I wanted the hot air balloons to be. I decided on little animals. And so here I am sketching it out so that when I paint, it'll be easier because I can just trace over my sketches. And I went for a little kitty, a raccoon, a dog, and a bear. And I drew and colored in some nice white fluffy clouds to accompany my hot air balloons. So my little animals are enjoying a nice, relaxing, calm day in the blue sky in their little hot air balloons together. And once I was ready to paint the animals, I lined them with Posca's and then my outlines and then after drawing my outlines I colored in them with the colors that I had chosen. I did like using the Poscas for most of this project because they're just easier to use because you can draw with them rather than having to try to rely on your paint brushes and your detail brushes. But there are certain times when the Poscas are great sometimes they do have a tendency to crack. I have found another brand called Thule Art that I really like as well. They paint just as well as the Poscas, but I've noticed they don't have the tendency to crack like the Poscas do. And you have the option of more colors, they have a metallic version, and they have pastels. the animals that I did because I thought that a cat, a dog, a bear, and a raccoon would just look especially cute together. I like the raccoon's little mask and his mischievous little smile. The teddy bear reminds me of snuggling with my daughter with her stuffed animals, and the dog and the cat remind me of our own dog and cat. I 
I especially like hot air balloons because they just remind me of summers with blue skies and when the wind would blow. And every year when I was growing up, they would have a balloon festival where the balloons would come up and you would see them flying in the sky. And funnily enough, when I was growing up, we had a dog that was actually terrified of hot air balloons. He thought they were big, growly monsters. And whenever he would see them, he would run back inside the house. But if we stayed outside, he'd keep coming back outside to try to rescue us. So when I think of hot air balloons, they just always make me laugh and smile. places where some paint got on the blue sky and so I decided to paint with a darker color because I thought not only would it help cover up the little mistakes or little splashes of paint but it also kind of gave a little bit more depth and variety to the sky so it looked a little bit more realistic because you know blue sky isn't always one solid color and this I just felt helped emphasize the fact that it's a pretty clear day and you have clouds in the sky. my outlining in black. This just helps the drawings pop a little bit more and gives them a little bit more depth and helps the characters stand out a little better. I will say that the hardest balloon I had was my rainbow balloon because I had to color in so many tiny little squares and that took a little while but I love the ending effect. I think it really just helps convey the mood of the scene. It helps make it more bright and colorful and happy. to use a lean sealant. I feel that it gives a really good coat, helps protect it, and doesn't make it sticky. And then there's my finished product. And now for the best part. and I hope you enjoyed painting with Maybe Crafter and if you did just make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!